Well, for months, we've been just inundated with political commercials. On TV, you see it a lot here on CBS, in the mail, on social media. But today, the voters get to decide if you haven't cast your ballot already. Political science professor Stephen Caliendo from North Central College back with us in our 6 o'clock hour with your insight and analysis. Let's talk about the big race on the ballot. Of course, the governor's mansion in Springfield. J.B. Pritzker has spent a ton of money, over $150 million of his own money, to get the opponent he wanted in Darren Bailey. Was that a smart move? As the old adage, be careful what you ask for. Be careful what you ask for, and be careful what you what you uh, pay for. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there was a lot of money spent during the primary stage by the Democrats, by Pritzker, to try to make sure that Bailey was the nominee. I don't know and if, if it, I mean it's impossible to guess to what would have happened if, uh, if Richard Irvin, for instance, would have mm -hmm. been would have been the nominee and how that would have played out. I haven't seen a reliable poll uh, through the whole year uh, that had this race within 10 percentage points, and so J.B. Pritzker has, has had a pretty comfortable lead. But as we've always talked about, it's about who shows up, who cast their ballots already, who's going to show up today, voter turnout's going to make the difference. Oh, definitely. We know three Democratic incumbents are really in tight races yes. right now, but it could be weeks before we even know anything about this because of mail-in ballots and all of that. It could be if they, if they really are tight. Remember, th these are we're talking about three suburban Democrats in particular. Um, Any time, we, we talked about the history of this in, with previous times we visited, presidents in their first term, their party typically loses seats, especially in the House of Representatives. We've also had redistricting, uh, so the, the districts are different than when we voted in 2020. And so we've got some suburban Democrats in tighter races uh, than they might be in, in other situations. And so if they are that close, we, it may not be tonight or tomorrow night, rather, that, or to, by tomorrow night that we'll know. I was saying, yes, yeah. you mentioned to us yeah. when you walked mm -hmm. in, you're like, yeah. hey, tomorrow morning when yeah, we yeah. talk, we may not know yet. That's right. I mean, we may, we may have to wait till tomorrow night. Um, we can start, they can start the ballot counting. Different states have different rules. And so if, if we zoom back and talk about the national picture, some of the, the stake of who controls the House, who controls the U.S. Senate, we may not know that for weeks. We should have most of our uh, information in Illinois in the next couple of days. Okay. Well, win, lose, draw, or run off tomorrow when you rejoin us, you're going to have a bow tie. On. I'm going to bow tie tomorrow. I was looking for the bow tie. You, can't, <laughs> you look very. You uh, can't do it every. This is red. Sartorial you can't on election Yeah, day. blue and red. So well, there'll be no accusations of partisan alignment based on my attire. There we go. We'll there see we you go. back at 9 a.m. today. Stephen Cayendo from North Central College, thanks for being with us. We'll have more political insight from him coming up again, as I said, in our news at 9. We'll be